Being in nature and genuine art making are the two most nourishing experiences for the soul. Nature sketching brings the two together. It is a treat for the heart. Today, I want to share with you how I sketch nature loosely. The first thing is actually in the mind, a mindset that is freeing and help me loosen up. I am not creating to produce a good painting, but I create to become one with nature, to take in the nourishment of nature. I paint for the heart from the heart. My heart feels the oneness, feels the connection and openness. And that's what I'm going to convey in my sketch. So here it comes my sketch. I put on the clear water on the paper first because where there's water, there's a flow, there's a connection. And then I drop in the yellows and the yellow colors are becoming a base for the green mountain. I feel it really shows off that freshness, lemon green on color and also the sunshine that's being bounced off the mountains. From here, I can drop in different shades of greens and blues and, and to bring out the colors of the mountain. I intentionally leaving out some white scab uh, to show the highlight of the mountains and that also create a form of the mountain. I'm dropping in different shades of blues and this is a Lucas watercolor paint set. It's really nice. I don't use it a lot in the studio. So here I'm really experimenting with it and having some surprises here and there. Some colors may be too strong or not as I intended. And that's okay. If that's too strong, I can simply add water to dilute it uh, or add some complementary color to um, neutralize it. And still, it comes uh, with its own beautiful surprises that uh, help me to open up and learn. As I'm sketching and painting, I just feel such aliveness that I don't really feel like that uh, a lot in the studio when I was sitting at the table. So sketching and painting in nature is such a different experience. Everything feels so much more alive. Here I'm sketching some foreground trees. Uh, now I don't use a lot of water because I want the shapes to be more defined. So I use more of the dry brush to uh, just uh, express the basic shapes of the trees. And I use yellow again as my first layer and then I drop in darker colors. So uh, I'm painting from dark, I mean from light dark and the darker colors of green and um, uh, yellow and um, blue just uh, fuse naturally this way. Now here comes the lake. So because I would love that uh, to have that oneness of the water, I use clear water first. Yes, with water, there's a flow, there's a connection. Then I drop in the blue colors and different shades of blue. So the color fuses naturally without hindrance. That's just so nice.
finish the lake and the water with a few zigzag lines to bring the background of this water to the foreground to make that visual connection. So finally, I just splash some colors、uh, to make this more fun and more alive. And now I feel complete. So when I feel complete with the process, then I put down my brush. I don't have to keep adding to it.、Um, if I feel I have already become in one with nature and express this oneness with my sketch, and I feel I did. So I'm happy of what I've just created, and I love this experience. So since the weather is getting so much warmer, I hope you also get the chance to get out of your studio、uh, and then to sketch some in the nature. Don't worry about if you are painting、uh, any good paintings or produce any good paintings. That really doesn't matter. What matters if is if your heart feels that oneness and taking that nourishment from Mother Nature. Thank you for watching and happy painting.